Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie. You can tell this is not quite a normal intro. I'm sitting in my car and I just uh, drove to Dallas to pick up a different kind of patient, a little injured bunny rabbit um, from Dallas Animal Services. So I just got said bunny. I haven't even looked at him yet. It's like I want to look now, but I just looked through the hole and he's just doing oh I hear him. He's doing okay in there. Supposedly he has an injured leg. So I'm actually just gonna get back on the road and get back to the clinic because this was my lunch break and I have no time left. I mean, I ate a couple sunflower seeds for lunch all for this little bun bun. So anyways, let's get back and get him out and see what's going on. All right, we made it back. I did not get in a wreck and die. No traffic. And I promised I would show you my little friend. Let me just show you from the perspective that I just saw this so you know how cute it is, okay? So you don't think I'm being dramatic. Hi, Bun Bun. Hi. This little bunny uh, was neglected and when I saw the post that was asking rescues to come and get him, it said that he had really severe ear mite, secondary ear infection, and some kind of traumatic wound or something on his back leg. So we are gonna check that out. Please don't jump. He's very curious. He does not seem to be real spooky, but we'll see if he can be scrambles. He gonna potty in there? He scurried around there the entire way. Can we go potty? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna set this on the ground and pick him up. I want to do like a whole thing of video shorts on how not to be a jerk to your pets. And I think that a bunny would be a good one. Support them under the legs when you pick them up. I mean, I don't even think anybody would hold a bunny by the ears. But if you do, I'll pick you up by your ears. So this is our little friend. As I'm looking at him, I see a lot of hair loss on the back of his ears. That's probably because he has been scratching really bad. He's got crust in his ears, definitely some discharge. Let me show you this one. But nothing just crazy, crazy. Okay, friends. Which one was it? See these crust here? He could have actually like dan uh, walking dandruff, which is chalitiella, but uh -uh. So we're gonna have to check in for skin mites, lice, and everything else. Let's see if we can, if he'll let us look at that wound. Let's see what that wound was, huh? Oh goodness. So. Well, I don't see anything. Okay, okay, okay. What we're gonna probably do is let him get settled in for the night and then tomorrow, sedate him so we can clean out his ears really well because I can already tell they're pretty painful just from how resistant he is about me touching them. Um, and then we will also um, do some like tape prep, so basically where we take a piece of tape and we press it onto the skin and see if we can find any mites. Um, probably won't neuter him tomorrow. We'll probably save that for another day once we kind of figure out what's going on with his ears and skin. But that's it. We're going to get him settled in for the night. He seems pretty scared. Oh, let me get a weight. I bet he weighs three pounds. Don't panic. Whoa, 3.1. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. No. We're not going to do that. Also, if you wanted to know something about bunnies, this is called the Heisman hole. I feel like their face is hidden and they're like burrowed away. So we let them hide their face. No. Keep them all scooped up right here on the buns part. And see, it looks like you're holding the ball with the Heisman pose. Is that right? So let's do it. Isn't he so cute? Um, but 
really they need to neuter them before they release them out to be adopted, which they were not able to do because of his skin issues. I'm not really sure what his situation was, but we're gonna check in for mites. All right, now I'm gonna show you the super, super high-tech tape test for mites, okay? Piece of packing tape. I know, maybe. And then take the crust, stick this, pull it up, stick it, pull it up, stick it, pull it up. Look, I didn't go to vet school, nothing. Where's your other crusties? Most of his crusties are on his head and ears. And then, so then I'm gonna put that on a slide to look at it under the microscope. If he has any lice or mites, hopefully they will stick to that. And then I'm gonna swap for ear mites, which rabbits generally do not like their ears to be messed with. I don't like horses. So I'm just trying to get, oh, see, he's like, bye, yeah. Kind of trying to break that up so he'll just kind of expel some so I can get a sample, which I did. Oh, sorry. And then we'll look at that too. The shelter thought maybe he had ear mites, so I'll take a peek. Okay, okay, okay. And I use this just to get a sample. Don't stick Q-tips in your dog or cat or rabbit or anything's ears or reptiles, ear holes or bird. Don't put these in their ears and do this to get a sample. All right, here's the ears. You can kind of see in there and see how crusty they are and inflamed. It says it hurts, don't touch them. And then check out the ears, crusty on the edges. Okay, 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 I'll put you back. He is not having it. First reaction looking at this money. <laughs> like scraggly looking. I thought everybody was gonna think he was the cutest thing ever. Rude. Should see Ryan's reaction. All right, this is the ear mite that we knew that he probably had. There's a large female. And then this is either a nymph or a male, I can't tell, like a younger one or a male, but gross, 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 gross. And those are all in the ears and that's why that little guy is just constantly scratching. So I'm gonna put this on our bunny so that it's just revolution or generic revolution called revolt and it kills the ear mites and then hopefully be less itchy soon. How, how does he want some? Oh my gosh, focus on me. She's obsessed with that cat. She wants Han <laughs> so bad. Okay, come here kid. He's mad at me right now because I touched his ears. We'll worry about cleaning them out later when he is sedated. On. Enough with the little cute sexy purr. <laughs> cool. Sorry, bud. Boop. Bunny language 101 when they're asleep with their little legs kicked out in the side, they are super relaxed. <laughs> so loud. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Come here. You're okay. You have to get used to lots of handling. People want to touch buns. Mm hmm. Well, somebody is getting neutered today. Who's excited? We'll see if you gain some weight too, Chunkus. You look bigger. Oh, you're not excited. So we're gonna pull his food. We'll probably neuter him in an hour or two. We really do not fast, meaning we don't pull food and water um, on rabbits, really just a couple hours before and then we try to get him back to eating as quick as possible after surgery dude what happened <laughs> jinxie what's up likes his new litter a lot You don't oh, like buddy. it. He's going right for her throat. <laughs> He's the Monty <laughs> Python rabbit. <laughs> okay, so typically they want to be in a little burrow. He does not want to be. So we make them into a little, this is a good demonstration to you. Into a little zip. Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> he doesn't want to play. Okay, you're going to have to hold him like a dog. Do it. 
We're gonna give it in the apexial muscles. Like a Big old needle. needle. <laughs> Big. Oh. Okay. Okay. It stings a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Kale, that's good. Are you awake? Are you upset with me? Oh, goodness. Not happy. Look at him laying. Look, Look at his feet. He's so rotten. So rotten. I got a comfy bunny. He's camouflaged. You see his feet? So cute. This little bunny's being. He does not want his food in his bowl. Excuse me, sir. Can I have some? Oh, you're grumpy. I'm not gonna take your food. You're playing. He wants to play with those dogs. Aww. Jinx. He's like, I thought you were a friend. Aw, he's like, let me help the play. I'm just a prisoner. No. This is my plea for somebody to adopt Jinx. I can't understand why no one has adopted this little thing. Look at that. Look at that. Just a wee baby. It's just the best. Like dogs and cats. Look at my He's like, please put me down. We're here today because little Jinx has a meet and greet. So we're about to take Jinx into the room and see how it goes. So fingers crossed. Ready, Jinxie? Oh, don't you growl at me. <laughs> Hi, how are how you guys? She's our newly adopted dog. <laughs> yeah. Come on, adopted. Well, 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 Did you guys get other two new rabbits as well? Mm -hmm. We're getting them next week. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 